Hello, my name is Aaron David Gleason. I'm from Los Angeles. I'm a recording artist whose roots, I would say, are in gospel, classical, reggae, R&B, alternative, electro, clash, hyphy, rap, west coast, east coast, what have you. I like it all. Today I'll be doing the song Over the Edge. It's one of my favorite obscure songs that I just learned how to play yesterday. When I'm close to the edge, she pushes me right on over the bridge like a swan dive over the street lights. I want to stay alive, I want to hold my breath like a swan dive over the street lights. I want to stay alive. away your tears gonna turn away your fears don't want to see you cry 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 I took a plane from where I came I had to lead it was your name or fading fast from a matchbook written in your pen across the sand through an abyss like a mirage I couldn't miss she took me in into her arms like a swan dive over the street lights I wanna stay alive I wanna hold my breath like a swan dive over the street lights I wanna stay alive I wanna hold my breath I know, I know, I know that you're the only one you took me to the bridge you took me over Aaron. Jimmy. Aaron. We just heard a tremendous uh, performance of Over the Edge. Uh, hook after hook after hook. I cannot get this song out of my head. Uh, very complex rhythms, very varied melodies. What is the story with this song? Well, I wrote this song about four years ago with a producer named Kennedy who works out of the UK. And he had the backing track down, but there was no melody per se, the, a lead melody. Um, and I got behind the microphone and I was like, just, just let me go, just mm -hmm. let me go. This is what I say to him. He hates that. But um, we learned how to work together that way and we're both hook savages. I mean, we're, we'll be in the studio for hours on end looking for that right line. Mm -hmm. From a style standpoint, it starts out with 
clearly, you know, a, a very strong flamenco vibe. Yeah. But then it kind of devolves into like all types of other styles. Um, how many different styles are going on in this song? There's at least three. At least three. At least three. What are the other, what are the other two? Well, I think that the chorus is straight. What is the pop. chorus in this song? There's like four of them. I know, I know, okay. I know that you're the only one. That's the chorus. That's one chorus. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, we repeat it a few times. Yeah. And then there's a bridge. I remember Kennedy ran down to my car and met me and he said, people are going to play this at their weddings. Yeah. And I was like, okay. that's." Is then, it a love song? Oh, yeah, for sure it's a love song. What kind of love song is this? I've never quite heard a love song like this. Well, a swan dive over the street. It's like, a romantic that's... love song in the kind of electro pop fashion. Right, but there's some dark will. alliteration in that line. I keep coming back to that line. A swan dive over the street. Like this is a pretty dark issue. Well, I try and lighten things up as much as possible. It's, it's, it's just hard, Jimmy. You're just a deep guy. It's, I mean, you're wearing sunglasses well, for yeah. crying out loud. Yeah. The eyes are the mirror to the soul. I know. And uh, I'm looking at mine right now. <laughs> Well, you clearly focus on the craft of songwriting, and it's it's so obvious, uh, not just in this song, but you, your primary instrument is, is piano, is it not? Yes, yes. And um, in in your piano songs, it's it's it runs it runs a tremendous gamut from what I've seen. Um, are piano songs easier for you to write than maybe guitar songs? I think songs? piano ballads come very ballads. natural to me. Writing an up-tempo song on piano is pretty difficult. Mm -hmm. Who are some bands out today that uh, that you enjoy? So many. There are so many great bands. There's a band called the Black Keys who are fantastic. There's uh, a female artist named Esperanza Spaulding who just takes my breath away. She is so incredible. I could never be that good in four lifetimes, and she's much younger than me. And maybe in the future as a manager. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe. Uh, she doesn't need my help, okay. believe me. <laughs> um, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them in this room that are on your show, in fact, that I admire quite a bit appreciate that. I mean, that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to give a forum to, you know, a lot of great songwriters that might otherwise be overlooked. Um, I think our viewers might find it interesting that you are, in fact, descended from game show royalty. Yes. Um, why don't you let our viewers know exactly who you, uh, who you are descended from? Well, my grandfather, uh, his name is Monty Hall. Monty Hall. He had a television yeah. show called Let's Make a Deal. Let's Make a Deal. And it's actually back on the air, is it? Um, with the new host Wayne Brady. And uh, does he is, does he watch it? How's he? He doing watches it, and he jumps around the living room, and he has suggestions galore. Mm -hmm. uh, and he calls me to want, and he wants to know if I've been watching it. But uh, he also wants to know how my career is going, uh -huh. how the Jimmy Lloyd show is uh, going. Give him my regards. I will. I will. Do you find that maybe your negotiation skills have been enhanced because of the the influence of Monty Hall? No, no, no. not at all. It would come but in handy in the music industry these days. It doesn't seem to work at all, unless you're him. But do you, I'm do not you let him. people know this, or is this? Uh Seems uh, I, did, I did when I was younger. It didn't seem to help too much, actually. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, nevertheless, I think your songs are going to get you where you're going. You have a tremendous talent. Um, I can't think of a performer that we've enjoyed as much oh. as, as you, and uh, really happy to have you a part of our show today. Well, I appreciate being here, and you know what? You're a great songwriter yourself. Well, thank I was you sitting much. in the sound room listening to your tunes. I appreciate you it. nailed it today. I appreciate that. Well, our viewers will have a chance to hear some of uh, some of my songs coming up shortly. Cool. Thanks again. Best of luck. You got it, Jimmy.